Alrighty then, welcome back to more Xenoblade Chronicles 2 Winnacles. Uh, so, um, uh, mm, ah, mm, <laughs> oh boy, how do I even beginify? So, yeah, this is the only quest that we have left right now at this point in time in this chapter to go see Pan Pan. But I looked up the quest and the end of the quest requires me to kill not one, but two level 25 brogs. Oh, jeez. You notice... You notice something. You're ten levels below! Well, unlike Xenoblade 1, unlike Xenoblade 1 and unlike Xenoblade X, there is no penalty for fighting an enemy that is higher level than you. In Xenoblade 1, and I believe this is also true in X, if an enemy is a certain amount of levels higher than you, then they get, like, an evasion bonus that makes them that much harder to hit. So your accuracy, stack accuracy, needs to be that much higher in order to hit them. That's not a thing in this game. Huh. They stopped doing that in this game. And now it's just, if you try to fight something that's higher level than you, um, they'll just crush you in one hit. Or you'll do tiny little inky beansy baby amounts of damage to them. <clears throat> but it does make setting up to fight them easier because you only have to care about your damage output and whatnot however because i have accepted the dlc there are two napon i can talk to to get spe to get special core crystals that will guarantee get me certain rare blades and these rare blades are two of the strongest blades in the game. Whoa. So... You doing that? If I can figure out where they are. <laughs> Bye, Dromark! <laughs> oh, he's just gone. <laughs> Mumufa, here are many things living in places like this. What information friends looking for? Oh. I didn't know I could taunt. <laughs> <laughs> Those, uh... That's that's how they kind of handle re-readable tutorials. Hmm. You have to buy them. <laughs> okay, so... Yeah, I need to... Can you look up some stuff on your phone? Okay. <clears throat> what are we looking for? Uh, that's a very good question. <laughs> Since many Napon is merchant, it is not Pon's tendency to think about efficiency in everything. That also manifests in Napon food. Use lots of oil to fry... Use lots of oil, fry quick on strong fire, then food done. Food ready quickly and full of nutrient. Very efficient. Very Napon cooking way. Ro doo doo, ro doo doo. <laughs> what is this name? Ro doo doo. I don't know. Personally, good at making lightly fried rice while reading historical document. Of course, this also means precious historical document get covered in oil. Lightly fried rice. <laughs> Hey, can I ask you something? Meh meh? 
Ask about sal salvager ranks. Meh meh meh! Friend know about skill of... Mochichi? Very sneaky indeed. Since day Mochichi was born, Mochichi see salvagers come and go. Develop great skill of judge salvageability. Also, fair and honest is motto of Mochichi, so Mochichi offers some rank service of ranking salvagers. So the thing is... Yes, yes, so friend want Mochichi to judge salvager ability? Alright, Mochichi rank friends, but Mochichi requires small cash fee. Meh meh? Friend looks at Mo Mochichi with scornful eye? Oh, but Mochichi do good service. When friends rank gain rank, give special reward as free for free as present. So friends pay fee for ranking now? It's only a hundred gold. Thanks greatly, friends. Now let Mochichi see up and coming young Salvager Rex. Salvager rank should be Congratulations, Rex at rank E. But Mochichi but by Mochichi's standards that's still only baby of salvaging. Yes, baby of baby salvager, about same level as. To 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 wit, we what? <laughs> what? <laughs> to wit, we? <laughs> tweet we? Tweet we? That sounds more like a Napon name. As tweet we. Still, Mochichi, keep promise, give present for achieving rank. Don't put an I in front of the W, it's unnecessary. <laughs> Come see Mochichi. Come see Mochichi for a small fee. Okay. Alright. Challenge, let's see. Challenge mode. Uh, so those three are left behind challenge mode, which is... While you look that up, I will actually go and accept that quest from that guy that helped. I'll also have to get myself some high level... I'll also have to get myself some Narsapair jellies if I want to take one enemy's ten levels higher than myself. Okay, um, is obtained by doing this one. Which is received from Hurry Scurry in the Bower Lounge. Oh, okay, I've, I've ran past Hurry Scurry a few times. Oh yeah, there you go. Hurry Scurry for one of them. Pan Pan. Meh meh? Meh meh meh? Are you alright? No, Pan Pan not okay at all! Pan Pan was just about to complete 40 hours of flight training and get licensed for flying as much as Pan Pan want! Pan Pan always dream of zipping about all our skies, eating delicious treats of every place, but... Meh meh! Pan Pan have little problem right now, now. Nagging hunger in Pan Pan's stomach, very distracting. What a difficult situation. If Tora and Pyra use brains, can... Can maybe find answer to problem. So hungry, must eat, must eat something. Into the open sky received. <laughs> oh, it's one of these. Oh. Okay, that gives five. That gives ten. Uh, yeah, go down here. Oh, remember that rare blade that I got? Uh, I believe it was just the last episode. Yeah. Uh, her. Yeah. This. Th be kind to the townsfolk and do a small few good, a uh, few small good deeds. There's more than three of those that you can do, and there's one that I could have done at the start of the game that I didn't even know was a thing. Wow. And I don't think I can do it now. You can only do it in chapter one. Oh, come on. 
in chapter one. Remember the guy who was like, hey, Rex, about the mooring fee or whatever. And then he looks to Gramps and he's like, no wallet, I'm afraid. <laughs> you could actually have run back to this guy and have paid him the mooring fee. Good Hello, time. friend. I was wondering... I was wondering where d old Gramps had got to. Didn't expect to find him living inside your helmet, Rex. Seems a lot cuter than I recall, too. The stern face... The stern old face I remember could have passed for a monster. You two must... It must have been through some crazy stuff. Pretty sure you weren't a driver last I saw you either, huh, Rex? Yeah, I think after you uh, talk to the one woman whose, you know, son was the gamer pawn. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I think after you talk to her and uh, get your money, like, I just followed the quest thingy up there and just went straight to my next thing that I had to do. <laughs> but if you turn back, you if you turn back, you can, uh, apparently, uh, still can't buy his deed. I guess I need more, um, dev points. Hmm. I need a more, a higher dev level. I'm still trying to figure out what musical <laughs> instrument Poppy actually was. <laughs> what is <Chuck> doing? <laughs> His AI is trying to get up to where I am. <laughs> now he's disappearing. It? Oh. Oh, I was looking at what Dromark was doing. Dromark's now yeah, finding Like his... I was saying, he was disappeared. He just, like, disappeared and then reappeared. Okay. He was jumping all over the place. <laughs> All right. One of these things, I say, one of these things has got to be Poppy's favorite, maybe. Research is progressing. Poppy's favorite. No, it's not. You're lying. Re Research is progressing. Poppy's favorite. Must you turn this let's play into a house of love? Is progressing. Poppy's favorite. Poppy feels excited. <laughs> For once, she told the truth. Poppy feels excited. <laughs> okay, so it's roly poly maracas that I need to use for that. <laughs> and by the way, I don't even need to wait for them to expire. I can literally buy another set of holy poly maracas go back into the thing research and boom upgrade <sighs> oh and uh, speaking to Hurry Scurry, by the way, should definitely count towards the whole speaking to Napon. There's another Napon that I need to speak to as well that gives me the other one. I'm getting all kinds of turned around in here. This is the way to the stairs. Uh, look up Look up how to get, uh, Corvin. While I'm going this way, I'll talk to Hurry Scurry. Sorin's... Sorino Sorry. Ah, uh, there are friends. Me search high and low all... Me search high and low and all places in between for you. Pleased to make acquaintance of Hurry Scurry, top-rated courier service in some places and all rest. Hurry scurry, come bearing special delivery from village of Fonset. Sender name of Corin. Thanks. Friends curious about contents of package? Hurry scurry, know exactly what is inside. 
Kirk fit. <laughs> Kirk fished this pretty looking stone up from the Cloud Sea. We thought you might like it. That's what letter reads. Incidentally, probably worth to mention pretty looking stone actually referred to Core Crystal. Meh meh? Hurry Scurry did nothing wrong. My friends look at me like. Comet conduct. Uh, comment. Uh, con uh, commit. Uh, like commit conduct. Unbecoming of Delivery Pond. <laughs> You're talking weirder than usual. <laughs> <coughs> hurry Scurry. Alright, hurry, 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 scurry, spill beans. He thought if delivery was food on... He thought if delivery was food on verge of spoilage, would have to gobble up. That's a poor excuse, hurry, scurry. But friends are to blame here. Would not have happened if not wandering from place to place whole time. Anyway, friends should be taking core crystal. Okay... That take, okay. That take care of that. Be sure to rate Hurry Scurry least four and a half stars. What the hell is? Is there an app? Ah. <laughs> uh... Oh, you sell food. I'm gonna have to let one of my blades go, and... Oh, but who? You love all of them. <laughs> well, this blade that I'm going to guarantee to get is a fire blade. And fire blades are like... Some of the most common. Get rid of you, because the role you serve, literally your weapon, your role, everything about you can be done better by a specific fire rare blade that I hope I get. Oh yeah, X to release. Are you sure you want... You may never see this blade again. Are you sure you want to proceed? So I wasn't strong enough. Oh, <laughs> trying to make you feel like a jerk. <laughs> and then you get a bravery booster. You will get a booster based on their element. Hmm. Uh... And I'll also get rid of you because the rare blade I'm about to get is literally a bit a fire bit ball. Oh, she was happy. She's like, all right, whatever. The first one was like, I wasn't strong enough. Damn it. And this was like, okay, bye. <laughs> if I wasn't gearing up to fight level 25 enemies, I wouldn't even bother with these. <laughs> at this point. some jiggle physics. <laughs> Cross set. Yeah, she is a... <coughs> she is a healer blade. And by that, I mean she's really an attacker they called a healer. What the hell? Oh, she doesn't have Fire Mastery as one of her field skills. Well, that sucks. Mm. 
And by the way, I can't set a bottom blade until I reach a certain point in the story arbitrarily because reasons. Ugh. Call on me anytime. Oh, uh, this guy, Gork. I thought I remembered this properly, but I wasn't 100% sure. He is de he was designed by the series creator's wife. Wow. The um the um well both the creator of the series and like the like the master overhead seer guy. Huh. You know that type of dude. Anyways, where what did you say the other Napa? I said Sereno Sori. Where is Sereno Sori? Uh, at the Goldmith Return Port. Goldmith. Argentum after yeah. Okay. All right. Well, I'll go give this guy his food. One good thing about characters not having schedules in this game is it doesn't matter what time of day it is. I can just go and find him and talk to him. Wow, Narsapair Jelly really, like, sends that skyrocketing. <laughs> Oof! Stomach full! No more! Gnawing hunger gone quiet. Now Pan Pan can travel effectively. Everything is okay now? All worry is over. Master Pond, Poppy think you worry too hard. Thank you, kind friend. Pan Pan will surely show his gratitude when 40 hours training is complete. Meme? Think to silly flight. Thanks to silly flight error that stopped Pan Pan flying very, very far last time. Pan Pan still have another 39 hours and 55 minutes of training left to complete. Pan Pan make fly all, the, make fly all way to Gormot. Must fly now. <laughs> Into the open sky. You're all mine. Ooh, nice. Got some boosty R's. I will need them. Isn't it great we can get all this stuff right out of the ground? <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> come out, come out. Flora heals an aching soul. And you can get both of those to activate, by the way, at the same time. <laughs> Flora heals an aching soul. Isn't that great? We can get all this stuff right out of the ground? <laughs> That's funny. Goldmith Return Port. Uh, I think that's... No, that's Exit Dock. Where is Return Port? Let me wonder. Ah, here's the Return Port. Now, where is Pawn? Welcome. Ah! Okay, there he is. Finally! Friends know... Friends know how hard it is to track down world-traveling adventurers? Sorny... Sorry, Sorry. Sorry is seasoned veteran courier, but friends 
Take every ounce of resolve and determination. Eventually, Serenosauri decide to wait for adventurers to come to Serenosauri. Is uncon it unconventional delivery technique, but it seems to pay off. Oh, package. Oh, package. This is for friends from Fonsent Village. Is from Corin, but she got kid named... Kazuna. Kazuna. Kazuna got from kid named Mark. Oh, wait, what? What do I have to do with all this? Mark got from Mayor. I don't even know the Mayor. Anyway, very valuable core crystals, so everyone say... Sonori... Whatever. Please take... Please do not <laughs> drop or break. Villagers find it in dusty box and attic and decide must... Must entrust the people who use it in good way. That way... Did they seriously just say their name twice? Give to... That way they give to... Or... Soren. Sorry. Sor sorry to... Whatever. <laughs> Give to me. I just can I just have trustworthy face me guess. <laughs> this name is breaking Mike's brain. <laughs> and now I entrust to you. <laughs> Divine core crystal. Thanks. It's very valuable, hence... Innovative new courier style of me involving no <laughs> movement, no risk of lose or break. I is genius, no? <laughs> Such out of box thinking is proof that me leveled up as courier. Maybe Brother Hurry Scurry interested in learning of me. Please do not forget to rate at least four and a half stars. Do it, do it. These are two of the most overpowered blades in the game. And they're given to you as DLC. The name's Corvin. Wait, he's one of the most overpowered blades in dual wield swords. <laughs> Your folks will stand a chance while I'm around. Let's hope so. to brag or anything, but I really am that good. Catch you later! You got Corvin today. You got Corvin okay. Okay, where are we off to? Uh, just gotta get them a hundred trust. Ah. Uh, by the way, Corset here is a Pyra fan girl, huh. and yet gameplay-wise, she is stronger. Ha! <laughs> So, uh, make of that what you will. That is very weird. I didn't realize Corvin was a tankity tank tank. Uh, it's only minus two to block rate right? with that much 
increase in auto attack power. Increases accuracy during the night by 50%. Hmm. <clears throat> <clears throat> That's an increase to block rate, but a decrease to crit. But still, that's a huge buff. Chancy ball! Chancy, chancy! Increases luck by 50. <laughs> Lucky punch by 50, maybe? <laughs> Yeah, I haven't used core chips in a while. There. Now Tor is the one lagging behind in power. I just <laughs> shoved. Get out of the way, Poppy! <laughs> Cormont Province. Ah, okay, there's a heart to heart there. Oh, yeah, I think it's like Xenoblade 1. It won't show me where uh, I have to go for the current quest at hand until I'm actually there. Hmm. And then it'll show up on the map. Xenoblade 3 did away with that and made it so that even if you're looking at a map of a region that you're not currently in, it'll be still show you the quest marker of this is where you need to go on this map. Long journeys make Tora tired. What will we find? I do not know. <laughs> what will we find? I have to I have to go down to the lower level. All right, so that means we need to take a long, long rest. And we're here. Let us go. And we're here. Here. Apparently, that is a very Welsh thing to do to say here, like that. Not doing it. <laughs> it's like, well, I could reduce the level difference. Nope. <laughs> I don't want to be over leveled for future areas. <laughs> Morning, Rex. Did you sleep okay? Ugh, I slept like a baby. I slept like a baby. I wept like a baby. I am like a baby. <laughs> why, why, why? Why, why, baby Rex want nipple? <laughs> what will we find? Stop asking. Getting minced up here, not fit with plans of Pan Pan. Pan Pan have hopes and dreams of eating world's tasty treats. Why, these guys looking at Pan Pan if it's a Pan Pan tasty treat. You okay there? Ah. Uh, Kind friend who give Pan Pan tasty treat. Uh, will friend help again? Okay, bring it on. Here we go. Steady. I wasn't expecting to just be launched directly into combat. Uh oh. Uh oh. Shit. <coughs> You've been launched directly into combat. And you did. I was hoping I could at least. Fine. We'll get him yet. Oh, don't... Oh, what the... oh gosh, no! I hadn't even done anything. 
No, thank God. Let me at least, you know, set up first. Gosh. <laughs> Rude. Restores art charges. What exactly is it that the Roly Poly Maracas do? Ah, uh, whatever. Accessory time. Increases agility. Increase HP restored when reviving a teammate. Muscle belt. Let's enhance some arts. No weapon power with that one. I thought the Bronx were at the end of the quest, not at the start. <laughs> and they're like, fight them now! Wait, what? <laughs> oh, let's see. Boost the effectiveness of HP potions. Dexterity. That's about that. Nice one. That's about that. <laughs> that takes care of that. Wow. I really hadn't had anything on her. Hey, we didn't do <laughs> that. that takes care of that. All the more reason why you shouldn't have just been thrown into that fight. <laughs> Scarf at them. Yeah.
Kaboom! Keep going! I actually got it down to half health. Yeah. I wonder if I can like we'll get them yet. Try again. We'll do things different. Uh, no, wrong button. Ah, uh, I was hoping I can lure them one at a time. Oh, that would be useful. Okay, well, I'll tell them to focus on this one. If I die again, I'll have, uh... You know, Duh. I swear though, um, considering the level difference, this is actually not the worst thing ever. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, jeez. I'll bash you a proper next time, I swear. Be wary not to push yourself too hard. Uh. Well, no, not change order. Um. Ah, uh, you can't do it in that menu. You have to do it in this menu. Yeah. Oh, not on blade. Damn it. Oh, oh, wait. No, I remember now. It's more complicated than it needs to be. I have to go into this menu and then... Call on me anytime. Make her the top one. This can't be good. Look out, everyone! Ha! 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 Yeah, I should have used that thing that increases the amount of health I revive people with. Uh, hang in there. Ha ha ha. 
Haste and retreat. Well, I can keep going. Just leave it to Twilo. Poppy will finish this. Ha 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 ha! Take this. Awesome. Mega eruption. Break. Nicely done. Heal in, heal up. Just let go. Just spin it. Just one to go. I Get up. We took out one while they were well, it's two against four. You need to concentrate. Deep breath. You need a wake-up call. You need a wake-up call. Toro will show them. You want to taste the fury dog? We got it. Happy well. Right there. Did I do that? Alright. Time to show this vacuum brog who's um stuff. I shall defend you to the last, my lady. I wasn't planning on losing today. It's in the back. Let us make use of it now. Now I can keep going. Dude, dude, I think I can pull this off. Yeah, take it down. Good on you. We'll need to concentrate. Deep breath. While I'm doing a level four special, I can still tell my partners to do their specials. <sighs> Thank you, Frank Pan Pan, about to become tasty treat of big nasty vacuum brogs. Frank looked at Pan Pan as if to say, Pan Pan, ungrateful Napon that not reward gift of food from friend. What should we do? What should we do? I need to think about this one carefully. Hey, wait! Hey, hey, wait, wait! Don't say such a nasty thing! Pan Pan, not, su not such bad, Nopon. Pan Pan get all worked up when... at helm of ship. That makes sense! Pan Pan, go to Uriah now. Then back to our gents. I'm to give friend proper... to give friend proper token of thank you. Pan Pan, manage it this time. That promise. Ah! Get a load of Pan Pan's excellent skill skills! Get a load. Hmm? Helm wiggling about in funny way. Wah! <laughs> Into the open sky. Pan Pan really can fly. <laughs> Where is he now? I don't know how. Uh, no, seriously, where is he? <laughs> He's not showing up in any, uh... thing. <clears throat> Anyways, there's a heart-to-heart -heart back here. Uh, you know what? Though I hate to do this in the middle of a recording, uh, it auto-saves any time I pull a blade out of a crystal. Mm -hmm. So... And we've already confirmed with our Xenoblade 1 recording that everything's working. 
So Ooh. I'm going to save, do the heart to heart, then load. Okay. We're back here. This is where my whole adventure with Rex really began. Oh, right. This must be the spot where you and Rex washed up. Though we only made it here thanks to Gramps' efforts. And those efforts are the reason I'm like this now. Well, if you stayed that big, you couldn't exactly travel with us. I'd say you're just right. If I was my old self, I'd be able to carry you anywhere. Well, anywhere within reason. The world tree would be pushing it. Amazing! So how long it take you to get to Argentum from here? At the current separation, let's see... About ten days' travel. That long? You do it faster than that or you taste the whip, is what I'm hearing. Of course, that's not what I mean. But that's like three or four days by boat. My apologies. I'm not as young as I used to be. What is point of worrying now Gramp's not big anymore? True enough. That old body is a thing of the past. Well, I think you are adorable like this. I like it. Well, that's very kind of you, Pyra. Are you blushing, oldster? <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, Rex, do you ever wish I was in my old form? I don't see. I liked it better when you were big. I think you're better like this. Hmm. Uh. You make the call. Uh. I think you're better like this. I think you're better like this. Oh, -ho. you prefer me this way? It's cool to have you riding on my back for a change. Just hearing you encourage me from behind really sets my heart at ease. And when you were big. We couldn't just, you know, hang out or walk together. I like being able to stay close. I see. I see. You look rather pleased, Deserta. If I were to be honest, Rex's helmet is a little cramped. Not to mention the jolting and bumping and bouncing around. It's enough to make me lose my lunch at times. But hearing Rex say that, for the first time, it made me think that perhaps this was actually a good thing. I'm sorry about the jolting. Looks like I've got to get used to this situation too. That's all right, Rex. I'll keep the words of encouragement coming. I shall endeavor to become ever more reliable. Yay! But, um, actually, if you're planning on nagging me constantly, maybe I'll pass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't want to have Drew Max nagging voice in my ear all the time, either. Cheeky socks. <laughs> <laughs> now, the next one. I liked it when... Mm. I liked it better when you were big. big. I liked it better when you were big. Oh, is that so? I suppose you found me very useful as a titan. Huh? I provided a home, carried you from place to place, not to mention the salvaging crane stuck you know where. That's not really what I meant. It's just that you were so big and dependable. Like a dad, or, well, a real grandpa. Besides, I knew you in that form for most of my life. He's got a point. <laughs> yeah. Everyone else only really knows you like this. But I'm not used to it. Rex has a point. The time when I knew you before, Zerda, is very faint in my mind. This is the Gramps I'm used to. Tora cannot imagine Big Gramps. Puppy never seen Big Gramps, so also cannot picture. <laughs> right? That's what I thought. It's all about what you're used to. Hmm. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. Though I know you're really just pining for the days when you could travel in comfort on my back. <laughs> <laughs> heart to heart, the real Gramps complete. <sighs> okay, now let's go find Peter Pan Pan. Peter Pan Pan! 
I think the name Pan Pan is actually a reference to like a real world uh, pilot or something. Hmm. Though, Come out. it's entirely possible that Peter Pan was also named in reference of the same thing. <laughs> Smee, I'm going to get that Peter Pan Pan! <laughs> Come out, come out. Oh, gosh. <laughs> now I'm just imagining Napon and Kingdom Hearts. Oh, uh, well. <laughs> Together with the Moogles, they will create cuteness overload. <laughs> and take over the world. Flora heals an aching soul. There you go. Hot orange. Meh. Morning already. It is new day. It is new day. It's a new day. Better day. Gonna change my way. <laughs> uh, that'll not be the last time. Uh, it's not the first time I've ever referenced that game specifically. <laughs> And it won't be the last. <laughs> that game has a really good soundtrack. It's a, it's full of music that gives you such a rush. Nice. <clears throat> well, now I'm on the level. It's raining and lightning. And the lightning is a striking. <laughs> uh, okay, so where is this guy? Oh, Peter Pan Pan! Peter Pan Pan flute! I think I have an idea of where he is. But normally it would at least show it on the map. Hmm. Not sure why it's not showing up on the map. Hmm. By the way, can I just say how much I hate this style of uh, exploration thing? This, this compass thing up here? This isn't the only game that does that either. Uh, there are several games that do this sort of navigation thing with this compass up at the top. Huh. Um, Elden Ring does this as well. Oh. There's there's another game, but I can't think of what it is at the t at the moment. But I know there's other games that do this sort of thing. Xenoblade 2, I don't believe, is the first, I don't think. it. I mean, it very well could be, for all I know. But the reason I hate it, specifically, is like, oh, this thing tells me that I need the what I'm looking for is, like, straight ahead. But sometimes, in order to get to it, I need to go up and down and all around and do the twisty two and do 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 <laughs> And, and what have you, just to get to where the fuck I'm going, but because I'm using this as a navigation thing, my gut instinct is just to travel in a straight line as much as possible mm -hmm. to the thing, and then I find out that it's like underground or something, and that the entrance is this very small, very specific thing out, out of the fucking way that I would never have noticed... <laughs> And that's why Xenoblade X had the follow ball, which I could just launch and it would, like, take me to that out-of-the-way location and whatnot to get to where the flyingy frickety fru I was going to. <laughs> and then Xenoblade 3 basically brought back the follow ball, but instead of a ball, it's now just an energy line on the ground that very much reminds me of Fable's... Uh, sparkly trail, but better. Because anything is better than Fable. Yeah. 
Goodbye. By the way, I hope I demonstrated why um, level one runs are viable hmm. when I beat up those brogs. Okay. Yeah. Time to take you sure, I wasn't level one, but I was like ten levels lower. If this were Xenoblade 1, I would probably have had my ass handed to me unless I did very specific prep. <laughs> that being said, I still consider this to be overall the hardest Xenoblade game. And part of that is because the game just does not straight up explain shit to you. Which is ironic, considering... <laughs> I think Xenoblade X can at times be either the hardest or the easiest, depending on uh, depending on what you're fighting and whatnot. I feel powerful. Upgrade. Yay! Gotta defeat some more Volfs. Just because I'm doing side quests doesn't mean that I'm gonna shirk on my blade raising responsibilities. But at the same time, I'm not gonna go out of my way to try to fight certain monsters. If I come across them, I come across them. Red. You know, now that I know, well, I guess I'll keep. I guess I'll keep these guys so I can like start working on their blade charts, but. Uh, I I honestly didn't want to pull these guys for much the same reason that I don't want to like Maybe I can develop a noiseless firework just for you, Mia. I'm going all in. Uh, yeah, I did not want to get these guys this early, mostly for the same reason that I don't want to be using my bonus XP to level myself up. Mm -hmm. While I normally don't have any problems with being overpowered, I do think uh, with this game especially, it can make things a bit too boring at times. Yeah. Then Poppy would have to kill you. <laughs> what the fuck? Does Poppy have to choke a bitch? <laughs> the next battle should be a good one. She cannot be reasoned with. And she absolutely will not stop until she... <laughs> Poppy needs your clothes. <laughs> Poppy won't <a> stoppy. <laughs> the Poppinator. <laughs> <laughs> the pop <in> <laughs> <laughs> This is delicious. The popinator. Okay. It sounds like a damn popcorn product. <laughs> well, I cleared out all the wolves that I need to clear out. Good. If I had Corvin and uh, Corset, or uh, 
I probably would have been able to take it down Mr. Burb, <laughs> like, in a, well, maybe not a single try, but a lot easier. <sighs> I'm already running into problems now with this thing, because now the thing is drifting away, and it's like, it's still pointing in this direction, but down, which I don't even know where that is supposed to be. It's not appearing on my map. So, like, at least if it appeared on my map somewhere, I could, like, look at the map and be like, oh, according to the topography, maybe it's over here and I could plan my route. But no. <laughs> I'll be honest, I'm not entirely... Oh... Oh, I know where he is. I fucking figured it out. Where? That's why it wasn't showing up. You have to go to Tori Goth and then Treetop Path to find this part of the map. Treetop so, Path. Shall we? <sighs> well, at least I got some blade charts done. Mug? Hey? Hey? Oh, um, uh, not see kind friend for a while. How friend been? Pen Pen in great health as friend can see with own eyes. <laughs> Pen Pen craft played nasty trick on him again. Crash landed. Now engine only makes silly noises. At this rate, Pen Pen make it. Never make it back to our gentle. Pen Pen have no hope. Of give thanks to friend for food. If only Pan Pan had four. <laughs> Millie. Um. Millie. What the fuck? Millie. Millie. Millie I don't fucking know. <laughs> MF rocks, three crimson gears, and a couple of fancy bolts. Would you give it up a shot? Oh, Pan Pan didn't notice own lips were moving there. Well, if friends happen to find parts, Pan Pan very happy and grateful. <sighs> Collect fancy bolts in Argentum. Crimson gear. I got those. Where, am I, where are these rocks? I need to know where these rocks are. Oh, no, wait, in Araya. I can't go to Araya right now. I have to... F I have to further the story along. Yep. Hmm. Well... Okay, well, I need puzzle tree wood and diamond oak. How do I get those? Okay, okay. Well, you know what? Look it up for the next episode, because <laughs> next episode, we're basically continuing the story. Okay. Since I can't continue this quest line. Mm-hmm. What have we here? What was it again? Uh, puzzle. puzzle tree wood and diamond oak. Cool. You know, for the longest time I accidentally thought it was pretzel tree wood? Huh. <laughs> pretzel tree. Because my brain was just like auto-reading it. Anyway, this, this episode is over. Just... Yep. See you next time.